last time. Calm down, okay? And we're back. Before I go to the plushie factory, I need to meet up with Sonya at the military base first. That's the only thing it said. Sonia, there she is! What is she doing in a place like this? That's a good question for her, I guess. Russell, Russell. It looks like Sonia is digging around the back of that truck. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! Uh, Hajime, please do not startle me! I, am oh, I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode? Anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now. We found them. What did you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should already be there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. Right. You are right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Hmm? I'm sorry. It is going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. G got it? Then I'll start heading over now, I guess. I don't know what Sonia wants to do, but there's no time to argue about it. I left Sonia for now and decided to go to the plushie factory first. I guess that's what we decided to do then. But why is she even at the military base? I can just ask her later. Anyway, the bombs are the biggest priority. I should hurry over to the plushie factory. Kind of reminds me, you also found the, like, some handbook or information in the same place too. Maybe that has something to do with it. Throwing ideas out there, you never know. Where's Sonia? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? She should know that now isn't the time for that, but... Well... Can I go bring her? Dumbass. Do you really think there's the time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right, we need to stop the bombs first. Alright, All right, let's go. Well, it is Kazuichi. <laughs> We steeled our nerves and charged into the factory. Ah, okay. The first thing I noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck, why? That makes more sense now. There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded onto the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, these engines on top of the bed, is that? Damn it! I don't know how powerful they are, but if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but. There are so many, they must be extremely powerful. Did he really drive this truck and carry all these bombs? Damn it. Kazuichi, can't you disarm them? You're good at this kind of stuff, right? Mm. Uh, I thought I could, but. It looks like the engine is also acting as the detonator. Damn it! So why is the engine still running? The bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off and the trigger the explosion. No. I don't care how it's built, can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator was just put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. So it's going to take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost... This is bad! Yeah, noon. What if we use the tools at the military base? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we don't have time for that. The truck's engine is the detonator, right? Uh, hmm, then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. The fuel cap has been welded on, too. Do it. Then I'll just drive the truck into the sea. Bastard. You can't. You don't even have a driver's license. Huh? Are you seriously going to stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it. 
but even that's impossible. There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the bombs, stall for time, or move the truck. There's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. Hey, check this out. Um, there's some kind of machine on top of that metal box Kazuichi mentioned. Hmm, the machine on top of the box. Mm. Oh, this. This looks like a card reader. Card reader. Mm. Maybe we can disarm this bomb if we swipe the key card. Are you serious? What? Mm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagito wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if he didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. Mm. No, I don't think that is the case. Nagito is probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? Oh. Knowing Nagito, there's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. A theme. That bastard probably would do something messed up like that. Right. And we gotta find that. We gotta find that. That? Nagito is trying to make us do something here. If that's true, what's he trying to make us do this time? Ugh. Well, what's over here? All the machines are stopped. More importantly, what's that thing over there? Was that there when I first came here? Oh, there's a laptop over there. There is a laptop on top of the stopped conveyor belt. This definitely wasn't here the last time I came. How suspicious. Hmm, looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately, a video started playing. Hello there. Why, hello everyone. Great work. <laughs> oh my god, he seems like a classic villain now. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. N Nagito? Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagito. Me off. A video message. He's got something to say. He can say it to our faces. Hey, bastard. Just hold on for now. Let's watch this through to the end. Now then. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's not actually that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of that metal box. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it will disarm the bombs. Leave it to me! Alright, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However... Well... It won't wor work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor's student handbook. To be honest... I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But, I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should never, or I should have another battle. So, this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. The traitor's student handbook? Don't tell me! So that's it. This was a trap all along, to weed out the traitor. Hey! Is there seriously a traitor? If there is, they should have come for it already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Stop whining and complaining. We should do it at once. Or we should do all do this one at a time. Ooh. Don't be stupid. What if something besides the traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took out her handbook. Huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Mm. Looks like it's wrong. Hey. Who's next? Hey, hey. Oh, what are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey. <laughs> she got a point. That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Oh, well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. Hmm. So, what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey. Oh, like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong car might be safe. 
but only once, you know. Huh? Hey, what happened? No. Uh, nothing. I might just be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds. Just then, Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over to the truck. And then, as he tilted his head towards the engine, he suddenly <gasps> shouted, It's out of gas! What'd you say? What, what did you say? Huh? Huh, what's gonna happen if there's no gas? I, I already told you, it's gonna blow! But, but it isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Did not Kito miscalculate? Serious? Miscalculate? Ah, if you're gonna set us up, damn it. At least give us our calculations right, you dumbass. At last, Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Are or at least. Serious? Hey, can't we do anything about this? Is there something we can do? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one thing we can do. What is it? We don't have... What do we have to do? Bray! Are you kidding me? Oh, what? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> then we should run. With those words, we started sprinting away, and that's when it happened. Right. It is not a bomb! Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with a dazzling light. Nagito, you bugger. What the hell is this? Um, Looks like they're fireworks. F fireworks? Well, we stood there dumbfounded. The fireworks slowly decreased their intensity. And eventually... Oh my! Um, this means... It wasn't a bomb! What the heck? I mean, Nagito said... So it is just as I thought? As you thought. Hey, hey. hey, everyone, look over there. The laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. No? There's his infer inferiority complex again. Damn it, so it was all a bluff. Th then, was that bomb he detonated at the hotel? Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Tell me. Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up in an island. Nagito was lying about that. Piss me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time this message so perfectly? Mm. Now, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But, why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So, how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later! <laughs> the warehouse next door. That's where Nagito is! This time we'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench! Jeez. You bastards, what are you saying? Bastard. You guys can just beat the shit out of him, because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> oh, he has what to say if he's like, no, don't kill him, that's out of character. You guys, you're totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm, we need to stop them. You are right to let us make haste. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna beat the crap out of him! Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Shut up. Hmm? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces intent or instantly transformed into a look of caution. Akane? What is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? As I listened carefully, I could make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. 
music? <laughs> What's he planning? Is this another one of his traps? <gasps> Maybe. The moment we open the door, a real bomb is going to go kaboom. Now then. All right, let's open it and find out. <gasps> but please do not, Akane. It is dangerous. No. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. Uh, that's not the problem. And uh, uh, Leave it to me. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? Okay, well, it's locked. Hmm, it's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey! I knew it. It's a tray up. Seriously, just stop it, okay? You? Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? I'm just gonna use a little more force. What, what happened to open it slowly? Akane ignored her protests, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Not if it's a hinge is surprisingly just open. Ah! Ah, it's gonna blow up! Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves, but... Huh? huh? What's this? What happened? Yeah. Look inside. No. Sure is dark. It looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? This is really freaking creepy. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because her eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud mineral blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. And as if on cue, it suddenly started. <sighs> it's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse like fiery wings spreading before us. What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Hey, hey. Oh, but, but how are we supposed to put the fire out? There should be a fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those? Got it. Let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonia, we ran into the factory. Her being the voice of reason today, I guess. Huh? What's going on? First a bomb, now a fire. Fire! The break room is here, right? Uh, where are those fire extinguishing supplies? Where are they? Ah! A huge supply of lined up plastic bottles. It looks like there's some kind of liquid inside them. You found it! Those are fire grenades! Fire grenades? They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside puts out the fire. But this is strange. The last time I peeked inside, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. This should be plenty. Let's go back to the warehouse. We grabbed all the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. Good thing Akane has a good arm to her. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire, it's dangerous. Fire is indeed hot. So Sonia will help. Take care not to inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Looks like a cert or the curtain in the back is burning up. We just have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's go. We aimed for the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after the other. But... Is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades, which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning it curtain. Seem like the fire is intensifying if the fire continues to rise. It will inflame the ceiling! Oh, shit. This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. Well, what are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it! <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. These places come equipped with, uh... Fire sprinklers. So this is the power of the Japanese terror terraposa. No, it's not. That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. 
That's kind of convenient, uh, now that they do. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. It looks like the fire is out. Um, that is a relief! Yeah. The hell! Man, my merch is drenched! I got splattered off water and now it's soaked! It's so wet! Hey, hey. Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Hmm! Ah, turn out! Turn out! You can't! Nah, no way! Well, why can't we go inside? Um, Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse! It's gonna ventilate for a while! Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So, so for the sake of your health, please wait just a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater I've freshly prepared? But where's Nagito? That's what I want to know. You're so Everything is a lie! Monokuma doesn't exist! The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist! Everything is fiction! There's no meaning whatsoever! There's no relationship whatsoever! Everything was made! Monokuma can't be found anywhere! <laughs> What are you doing here anyway? Yes, indeed! Yes, now that the Monokuma Theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Phew. Also, I finally started to feel better! Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on! Why are you eyes on the front? I got it. So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Um. Oh, we get it already. Jeez. Enough of your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you. Okay, I'll leave the rest to you guys. I turned on the light for you guys too. You might hurt yourself in the dark. Here. Now, now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps. Is Nagito inside? He said he was in, er, he said he was in his video message, but he's probably escaped by now. There was so much fire and smoke. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how it's doing? You. Hajime, what happened? Well, well, nothing's happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. And... I can't even budge. It feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Oh, please, no. No, 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 no. Anyways, let's go inside. Are my fears finally being realized? You're about to find out who this traitor is? Will we ever know? A charred odor premeated, or permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. Hmm, <laughs> something smells. Hey, hey! It's not me! I am sorry! I am terribly sorry! You serious? Ah, Miss Sonya, say it ain't so! No, not that. I smell like I smell I've never smelled before. Like... Well, it makes sense. That there are strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey. Hey, everyone, did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it, too. Huh? Well, I looked where Chiaki was pointing. There was still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. Hmm. That smell was Miss Sonya. Seriously? I guess princesses, you know, do that too. My mind is blown. What are you, a child? It's like assuming girls don't fart. For sure. I see, so there was a space beyond the curtain? I had no idea. Hm. <laughs> what a mess. Hm. Well, I don't feel sorry about it since the only things that got burnt were not Akuma merch. That crap's useless. I like Monokuma merch. I didn't notice it until now. The curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it, too. Could it be? 
It might be better if we check it out, right? You know, yes, but I want to hear everyone's thoughts. Oh, there's still one surviving Monokuma thing. I definitely smell something. What is this smell? Oh, please no. Oh, this game's weird space selection. I walk towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice I had been feeling. No. No. No, no. Please, no. Oh... The fuck? Just when we were about to find out who the traitor was, I knew it sounded too good to be true. I had no idea what I was looking at. By the time I realized, I was looking at the remains of Nagito Komeda, the ultimate lucky student. Time had already stopped. Smile to hope in the name of despair. Deadly life, chapter four. Life. <laughs> it's deadly life time. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. I knew we shouldn't interrupt him or all. Trying to unmask the traitor? Of course he was gonna die. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! What? What's going on here? Are you serious? Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? How does luck not save him? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito, he's always messed with us. He's always tried to confuse us, that's why. I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito was dead. Deep down, I believed that when the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected to be looking at Nagito's body like this. Well, I guess we won't be seeing him again. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I can help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievable or unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Don't tell me! The body discovery announcement, th then it's for real. Hey! Then Nagito's really dead? Damn it! It's not just that he's dead, if the body discovery announcement was made. Does that mean Nagito was killed? C killed? That's right. Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito. One of us killed him so brutally. Well, it's entirely possible. Then it's going to start again. <sighs> the class trial is going to start soon, right? Then... Yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is! No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Then, time for action is now! So, allow me to give you a familiar Monokuma fruit! Put it right there! What? Don't get in my way like that! I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way! Stupid brother! Shut up! I can't stand this anymore! How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more! I won't let you! I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions! Hey, hey! Just say something! What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are! You're Monami! Hey. I just now noticed! Like... Anyway, Monami, if we're going to talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Hmm? <laughs> What are your intentions anyways? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? <laughs> what? 
No fair! You're shutting up too! Please wait! Enough already! We, we already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please do not say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyways, let's begin. Mm, but, but... This is just... I mean, in the end, we still have to do it right. As long as a killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Uh, I know, that's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! Boo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Looks like you cuts are way more well-behaved than one of me! Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me. We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I definitely make sure to finish this off for good this time. Ah, uh, does that mean you guys are getting bored of a school trip? Actually... Don't worry, the end is near! Oh, the end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon! You already noticed it, right? <laughs> the meaning behind that Monokuma timer? Um, I guess there's only two days left, hmm? When that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? The killing squirrel trip will be over! Hey, hey! If this is finally be over... You serious? Does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched! There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So, so once again... The Monokuma file! Phew. You guys need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. This ends here. There won't be an advancement. Or mean afterwards at all. Do your best. Okay, do your best. Wait! Hold on! I won't, I won't let you escape this time. Wait right there! Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at an end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? But still... Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. And if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we, don't, if we screw up here. All right. Let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. However... It is nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, I'm happy I bought the OST for this game. Mm. First, we need to look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Nagito Komeeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death, or death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Reading this has made me depressed. Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Hmm, again, but what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stabbed into his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. Hmm, it's definitely weird. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. Don't worry. Or don't wor worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. We can discuss it later. Right now is the only chance to investigate. So we should investigate first. Of course. If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. And let's start with the area surrounding Nagito's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can probably investigate Nagito's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagito's body. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either, however. Hmm... Why him? His luck didn't save him. That's what pisses me off. He's supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, even surviving meteors and... plane crashes. So sad. 